Greetings, it's Patrick. I have Tito Will View, and it's Tuesday. And if it's Tuesday, that can only mean one thing. It must be Library Day. And it is. Uh, and isn't that a good thing? So, uh, last week, the library um, was a little thin. Uh, I got a good, I got, I got, for what they had, I got a good deal. Um, and one of the things that we do when we're sitting there waiting for the, li or the library to open, um, the bookstore to open, is that we watch the volunteers. Um, generally, we can tell how the donations are by watching the volunteers. The longer they stay in the back and work, the more, the more stuff they have on the shelf. So the longer the back, good. When they come out and they finish early, you're, you're, really, uh, you're not really sure what you're getting. Uh, it's not going to be very much. So I was there first, and sure enough, uh, they were done really early. So I was like, this is not good. Um, this is not going to bode well for anybody, uh, either me or the resellers. Um, we had a full crew of resellers, full crew, and uh, we went inside. And um, I was a little surprised to see that, yeah, there was some stuff there. Um, I even had a little bit of library. Uh, they, you know, they had some library stuff there, so I was able, I was happy to see that. So, um, not much, not much, but what I got was what I was, what I was looking for. I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, so yeah, overall, I think this was actually a pretty damn good haul for, for how, how small it was, the, the donations were this week. This is one of the better ones. Um, and, uh, and I'll, I'll let you go see, I'll let you, uh, I'll let you see what I got. And we'll start off with the Blu-rays first. So I had mentioned before about how whenever you see a DVD copy of a big movie, uh, sometimes you grab it, sometimes you don't. Uh, I grabbed this one, but I knew it was going to drop. I knew it was. I, I just had to be patient. And sure enough, it did. It dropped this week. And so I got a Blu-ray version of Nope. So I grabbed the, I grabbed the DVD copy for a dime. Uh, yeah, everything here, I got in a bag, uh, uh, they're, they're still doing their sale of 10 cents a bag, uh, 10 cents or a dollar a bag, whatever you can put into it. So everything I got here, I basically got for a dime. And actually, actually I didn't, yeah, for a dime, that's it. So I got Nope on Blu-ray. Uh, I got a sealed copy, factory sealed copy of The Losers. Now, I did have the Losers in my DC collection, but I have it on DVD, so this will be a upgrade. And it's factory sealed. So, for a dime, yep, this is a fun movie, by the way. Fun movie. Under, uh, uh, slept on, actually. This is a really fun movie. I really enjoyed it. Jeffrey D. Morgan, this is one of those movies that he did, that he just, he rocked it. And a great supporting cast, including Nidiris Elba as our bad guy, um... And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this and glad to be able to upgrade it. And speaking of upgrades, uh, I upgraded on this, too. I had both these movies on DVD, but now I have them on Blu-ray. And that is the Journey to the Center of the Earth 2-pack. Uh, uh, so this is the 3D version, uh, which doesn't play, doesn't mean it doesn't play without, DV, without 3D player. You can still watch it. It's just you have the option. So it's a Blu-ray copy of this, 3D. This is the one with Brendan Fraser. Uh, and honestly, I don't know why he didn't come back for the second one. Um, and this is the second one right here. And wow. Uh, all right. So we got this one on Blu-ray, Blu-ray. And um, wow, I'm not sure what we got here. We got a three-pack right here. Uh, of the second one with The Rock. Now, I like both films. I did. Uh, I happen to like the first one better. Uh, I thought the first one was a little bit more action-packed and, and a little bit more, uh, you know, I don't know. I just did. I just liked the first one a little bit better. Uh, I thought the effects were better in the first one, too. But I got this upgraded as well. All right. And I got one DVD. I got one DVD. It was only for a dime. It got a little banged up, so I'm gonna have to clean it to make sure that it can play okay. I'm a little little concerned about the. Uh, it got it got it got loved a little bit. Um, 
but uh, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a chance for a dime um, because you know why not right and that is uh, never cry werewolf that's right we're werewolf so this movie st stars uh, Nina Dobrev I think she was in a popular series I'm not sure which one it was gossip girls I think it was maybe uh, and also has uh, uh, also has Hercules Kevin Sorbo in it and yes I, I I sort of got it for the Kevin Sorbo because you know I wanted to see what Hercules has been up to I had not seen this movie I didn't even know this movie was out um, so of course this is gonna be perfect Dollar Tree theater uh, fodder right here I'm fully expecting you guys to vote for this when I put it up all right so uh, that's that uh, all right so uh, uh, they have some series out this week, and uh, the first thing I grabbed, um, I grabbed the first copy of Fringe. This was sitting on the shelf, great condition, uh, uh, so I picked it up for a dime, and then I followed it up, followed that up with the second season of Fringe. I love this. I love when donations come in like this when they drop. Uh, multiple seasons like this it's awesome so i got the second season of fringe and to follow that up uh we got the third season of fringe now uh so this is this is a uh this is a lot of fun this stars uh uh, uh john noble from the lord of the rings joshua jackson god i forgot the girl's name i have not seen her since fringe as that come out actually I have not, I have to, I should see her, her name is because I, I forgot. Anna, Anna Torv, Anna Torv. Yeah, I have not seen her since French went off the air. I know she's an Australian actress, so she might've went back home, but I have not seen her on an, anything in a, quite a while. So French ran for five years. I have, uh, I have three seasons already, but uh, they're, for, they're these copies here are, are much better shaped than mine. So again, it's an upgrade. <laughs> My my, I think I got two of mine from the family video, um, so uh, I upgraded. And then the centerpiece, because we always have to have a centerpiece in, in the library. Uh, the centerpiece is this. Super stoked to get this. I never thought I'd see this and, and get it for a dime, for a dime. But I got Avatar, the complete series, the Nickelodeon series. Totally blew my mind. This is one of the best finds I've found in a long time. This is so cool right here. Yeah, uh, totally. It's a, a a little, just a little. You know, this thing was loved. I could definitely tell it's in it's in good shape. Uh, there's no, there's nothing wrong with it or anything else like this. For a dime, I got the complete series of Avatar, the 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 the, uh, the last Airbender. Um, I had the movie. Um, and I really wanted to like the movie a lot, uh, and I did. I did like Dev Patel in the movie. I thought he was sensational. The rest of it, whew, the first half was decent. The second half was like, what the hell? Um, but I got the series, so I'm very happy about that. And like I said, I, I think this is one for 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 as small as a, a quantity as was donated to the to the uh, to the library this week. I think the quality of the haul is outstanding. But I won't know for sure until I hear from Scratch and Pete and from John from Platex 2X. Those are the two go those are the two go guys to tell me to know if I did a good haul or not. So if they come over to my Instagram or my Facebook page and say, or a YouTube channel say, hell yeah, then I know. And uh John, I'm I'm looking for that library edition, buddy. Take five. I want that library edition. Let's do it. All right. All right, uh, so this is what we do every Tuesday. Um, so, uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider giving me a sub, uh, hit the notification bell, let you know whenever I put a new library haul video up and leave a comment down below. Let me know how I did on this week's haul. Uh, I know I'm probably going to get some heat for the Kevin Sorbo werewolf movie, but hell yeah, you know, we got to, you know, you knew that was going to come home. You just knew when I saw that, it was like, okay, yeah, because <laughs> that's the kind of collection, that's the kind of collection I have, right? I don't have I don't have that fifty dollar uh, boutique label collection, but by God, I got Kevin Sorbo in a werewolf movie. Yes. All right.
Thanks for watching. And uh, 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 this is Tuesday. Uh, on Tuesday, uh, I have no show tonight. Uh, got good news that the lady who I, I'm interviewing, she uh, she ha we had a we had a reschedule. She's got a new exciting job. Super stoked for her. So we're gonna come back and reschedule her for January. Sarah Dunn, uh, the lovely Sarah Dunn. She'll be here in January. So I'm super psyched. And uh, I should let you guys know too that next month uh, and. Uh, I was going to be on next week. I think I mentioned it before. I was supposed to be on next week on Gorefo's channel. That got pushed back to Christmas week. So I'm not sure. It'll either be the 19th or the 23rd that I'll be on Gorefo's channel. We will be talking Black Christmas 1974. All right. Um, that's it for us. And uh, we'll talk at you soon. Peace.